Okay, I gotta go. I gotta focus. Maybe I'll go take a freezing cold shower or go for a walk outside or something. What's up guys, it is the night before I attempt to stay up for 72 hours straight. Currently it is 6.06 a.m. Pretty much, I'm a little tired right now, so I can't really think straight. I don't know why I'm up at 6 a.m. I should probably go to bed earlier and get a good sleep if I'm planning on doing this, but we never said I was smart, did we? Pretty much my main strategy is the one, keep myself busy. I don't really want to do sedimentary things. Is sedimentary the right word? Or, or is that a rock? Anyways, I want to try to do things that will make time go by quicker. I'm gonna focus on like playing video games and uh, I Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go to bed because my brain's already not working. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning where I begin the 72 hours awake challenge. Why do I do this to myself? Hey Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.21 p.m. 2.21. I will be able to go to bed next at 2.21 on Saturday. What did I get myself into? Jesus Christ. The only way to start this properly is to fill my pot of coffee right to the top. Hmm. Okay, so I might actually have to go buy a new tub of coffee today because I don't know if that's gonna last me the next 72 hours. So yeah, let's have this coffee, sit down and strategize how we're gonna pull this one off. Yikes. Pretty much gonna try to get as much done as possible today since I feel like tomorrow and the next day might be write offs. I guess the first day is not really gonna be that exciting. It's gonna be like a regular day sort of. And I guess you guys pretty much just wanna see me in a lot of pain. So we'll probably not film a whole lot until I'm hurting. Cup of coffee, one. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've officially been awake for like an hour. So it's going pretty good. Maybe I'll evolve into a better version of Kyle. Maybe I'll turn into a super Kyle. All right guys, so we're over an hour in and I feel pretty freaking good. Only 71 more hours to go. In the meantime, I am reshooting my first skit because I didn't really like how the first one came out. So I'm giving it a second go. Got him fired up, baby, let's go! <laughs> so we have a new roommate moving in today, of course, and uh, she's probably going to think I'm a psychopath. So that'll be uh, quite the first impression for her, but hopefully she's nice. <laughs> Maybe, maybe she's also doing the same challenge. That would be pretty neat. Four hours in, feeling good. Hmm, one of these, one of these. Boom. Okay guys, we are now on coffee number two. It is now 912, which means I've been up for seven hours and we only have what, like 64 more to go or something like that? 60, 65 more hours to go. We're, we're almost there. And uh, we're gonna go on coffee number three. What's up guys? We are almost 12 hours in. This is coffee number four. I pretty much finished the skit. I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> I'm only 12 hours in, but um, I think it's just cause I'm bored. But what I'm gonna go do now is I'm gonna go finish shutting up my room so I can film out of there instead of filming off my phone. What is up guys? It is now 3.42 AM, which means that I've officially been up for 13 hours and I feel pretty good. And I know what you're thinking. Kyle, that's a regular amount of time to stay up for. And I know, you're right. Felt a little tired a little bit ago, but you know, I ate and showered and now I'm, I'm waking up again. I gotta keep busy. If I if I get bored, I'm gonna start thinking about how tired I am and I'm gonna fall asleep. I drink a lot of coffee. I'm gonna be firing coffee at all times. Uh, currently, this is coffee number four. So I'm gonna try to maybe go see some friends. Probably gonna go try to play squash after 24 hours of no sleeping, but it should be good to get my mind off things. And I know you guys are thinking, Kyle, we don't care about your strategy. We just want to see you torture yourself. Right now you're just watching me live a normal day. So it's really not that exciting. And yeah, it's 3.45 a.m. and everyone's sleeping, so I'm pretty bored. I mean, I got a Twitch stream set up, which I thought would be fun, but then I realized that everyone's sleeping, so no one can really watch it. So hopefully that's more fun during the day. <laughs> okay, see you guys when I'm in a lot of pain. What's up, baby? It's like 6 a.m. and I am fired up. Kind of. No, I'm just kind of faking it, but I think the more that I believe it, the more it'll happen. So uh, I'm just having coffee number five. I'm gonna grab some of my friggin' Starbucks double shot. This means we only have eight more hours until we've done 24 hours. And then all we have to do is two more times. That's it. It's baby food, baby. We've been up for 16 hours, which I guess is still a regular amount of time. So I don't know why I'm celebrating. I'm just gonna drink this and shut up. <laughs> What's up guys? It's like 8 a.m. And uh, I'm uh, feeling very tired, but you know, I think if we just get by in these next couple hours, I'll get a second wind. I'm gonna drink the rest of this and uh, continue watching the boys. Whew. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty tired. This is, uh, I would love to go to bed right now. I'm not even 24 hours in, but I think I think it'll be easier after 24 hours. So I think this will be one of the hard parts. Uh, we'll do a brief after I'm done binge watching the boys. Oh.
What's up guys? It is 8.47 a.m., which means I have two days and five hours left to stay awake, and I have now been up for 19 hours. Honestly, I'm pretty freaking tired. These past three to four hours have been pretty tough, and I feel really shitty. Uh, I, had, I drink one of these. I've had five coffees in total, and I think we're gonna fire this one out. I'm supposed to go play squash at two. I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm really hoping that eventually my body just realizes that we're not going to bed and I get a nice second wind. Um, hopefully people start waking up now so I can talk to people. I've been trying to keep myself occupied with TV, but no shows keeping me interested right now. At least it's sunny out now. And I'm gonna try to do a bunch of editing. It, where it sits, it was making me like really tired because it was really tedious and I was editing already for like 12 hours and I was like, okay, I should probably stop. This is baby food. Oh no, this is fucking shit. Hey. I hope we sure should regret it. All right, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. So I am opening this Monster Energy. Uh, I think I had five coffees and this. And now I'm going to fire this up because I'm 19 hours in and I am so freaking tired. All right. Well, you guys are in Ooh. All right, see you guys later. This is coffee number like seven in less than 24 hours. I feel terrible. I don't know why I thought of doing this. I don't know why I went straight for 72 hours. Kind of up on 24 hours. Maybe it's because I, I'm forced to do it because I've done all-nighters a lot. I've done a lot of all-nighters or where I just stay up for 24 hours and I felt like kind of tired, but fine. And this one's just been not, not as easy, so. Hopefully I just get my second win soon. I'm supposed to go play squash. Hey, okay, well, I'm gonna go look for a game to download to distract me and maybe uh, make some food and, um, finish my video. I am officially 24 hours in and I can officially say that this is the worst idea that I have ever had. I was just playing games on stream for a little bit. I was gonna go play squash but I am way too tired to go and talk to anybody. I'm gonna finish my video so I'm gonna go make some rice or something that'll use some brain power and then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, finish my video get that over with and I'm just gonna keep chugging coffee. We got 48 more hours to go I would love to go to bed right now. Wow. It's funny because I was excited to do this. I don't even want to film. I don't even want to talk to the camera right now. I'm so, so angry. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see ya. 48 more hours. Let's go. We're just over 24 hours in. This is my second meal. 2 a.m. I made eggs and turkey bacon. I have uh, broccoli, rice, and chicken. So I'm hoping this will give me some good nutrients to keep me awake. I feel kind of out of it. I keep like just forgetting why. Like I just keep forgetting things. I can't even speak properly. I'm just gonna eat this. Conserve my talking. So it's now 5.14, which means I've been up for 27 hours now, and I think I'm really starting to feel the effects of everything. For my skit tomorrow, I just ended up scrapping it. Um, I don't know if it was actually not good or if I'm just getting kind of negative because I'm tired, and I guess like the, my mental might not be the best. Uh, I feel pretty terrible. Um, I've had a couple waves where I feel like kind of good for like 20 or 30 minutes, but then it goes right back to just not good at all. I've kind of I lost all motivation to like do stuff feeling like pretty lazy yeah not a whole lot of excitement <laughs> going wow that sounds really depressing wow i don't i don't know if you guys it's like it's kind of hard to talk I, mean, I don't know if you can tell the difference from how i normally talk i've stayed up for over 24 hours before and it happens a lot easier when it's like natural and it just like you happen to stay up for 24 hours compared to forcing yourself to stay up when you really have no reason to. Uh, I still have, I think, like 43 more hours. I'm considering taking like pre-workout. I've lost track of how many coffees I've had, probably like 12, 200 drinks. I still have one left I'm trying to save. Might try to take a cold shower, just like another shower. I might try to do like a quick workout, but like I am just so, so tired. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I feel like shit. Um, a lot of people have been warning me about the side effects of what I'm doing and they've been asking me if I've looked into it at all, which I haven't because, well, I just, <laughs> I don't know, I'm irresponsible. <laughs> like when I was making food, I kept like forgetting what I was doing and then like having to like take a second and like remember. I should have extreme fatigue, uh, severe concentration and memory issues, paranoia, depressed mood, difficulty to communicate with others. I can definitely feel the depressed mood kind of kicking in. I'm feeling a little bit anxious too because now I'm not getting the video. Anyways, I don't want this video to be like depressing. This is all fun. This is for science, baby. And I know I, I try to keep in my mind that like a lot of these thoughts are just because I'm tired. So that's my update. I'll see you guys in another update when I'm maybe hyped up off pre-workout. It's now um, 7.37 a.m. or p.m. And I feel like shit. 
how, what, what am I, I'm like 30 hours in, maybe a little bit more. Honestly, I've been up for 30 hours before and it wasn't this bad. So uh, yeah, I figured I had to bring out the big guns. We got some pre-workout. We are going to fire up the pre-workout and see what this does for us because I am dying. Full scoop, F it. For science, right? Nope. Please make me feel better. See you guys in a little bit. Tonight's gonna be tough. Tonight's gonna be really tough. Holy f Oh my god. Holy fing shit, fing shit, dude. I just need to talk to my camera or something. I'm, how far am I? I am a minute and, or an hour, a minute, holy f I am, uh, it's 105, um, which means that I have been doing this for 36 hours, I think, over, just over halfway. And I think it's only gonna get harder, and I don't, I feel so terrible right now. I'm gonna bring my third energy drink into the shower with me, and just have an energy drink shower, and then just sit there and hope it wakes me up. Don't do this to yourself, this is just like shit. We're only halfway, I don't even get it. I wake up so bad, I don't want Like everyone's sleeping now and there's nothing for me to do. I don't want to watch anything. There's just no game I want to play. And I just am like, I have to stay up and you're just like watching the clock. It's so much more painful. So anyways, I'm going in the shower before I fall asleep fucking. Oh my gosh. Here's the, here's the rundown right now. Here's the down low. This is straight up the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, this is absolutely insane. It is currently 3.36 a.m. I'm over halfway. I've been doing this for like 40 hours now or something. Been get, it's been really hard to keep my eyes open. I went on YouTube to see if any other people have done it. And I type in people staying up for 72 hours and there's so many results on YouTube. So there's no f***ing way. So I watched like four videos and literally none of them made it through. Pretty much all of them fell asleep like halfway through. So um, it kind of motivated me to be like, okay, you know, these guys failed, but I'm not going to do that. It's honestly been really hard. It's been a, a constant internal battle just between being like, just go to bed. People will like understand how much like how messed up this is. But um, it's a little hard to gather my thoughts right now. Um, sun should be coming up in two and a half hours. Honestly, over throughout the night is the hardest part. There's no one to talk to. And it's really easy to get like caught up in your head. And let's get this money. This is baby food, baby. Okay, it's currently 9.52 a.m. Friday, and my eyes are not, are barely keeping open. <sighs> yeah, so I'm just gonna keep, if I, I just gotta stay standing so I can't pass out. My eyes are, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're not good right now. I can't even open them. I can't not open my eyes. <sighs> I look like a bag of shit, too. Oh my God, okay. Okay, hopefully if I just can, Force my eyes open for like the next half an hour. My body will chill out. This is bad. Oh, we got 26 more hours to go. Fuck. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta focus. Maybe I'll go take a freezing cold shower or go for a walk outside or something. Okay, I can't, dude. I literally can't open my eye. Okay, BRB. What, what do we say? This now it seems like it wasn't, hasn't been happening. I've been sit, sitting here dying for like half an hour. You almost fell asleep. I think this challenge could be over in the next couple hours. A couple of minutes. My eyeballs are not staying open. I haven't had this, my eyes shut this hard on me yet. It's, just like, it's like I'm dying. My soul's leaving my body. <laughs> get you up and get you doing something. It hurt so bad. You're only four hours from being 48. No, I'm not. What? Yeah, I am. Yep. Yeah, let's leave the math to the person that slept last night, okay? This is fucked. This hurts so bad. Maybe I maybe I won't fall asleep. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares. What's up, guys? I accidentally passed out for 19 hours straight, and then out of nowhere, literally like the most weight I've ever felt on my freaking, my eyeball off is, It was like when you, uh, when the dentist gives you, <laughs> the doctor, sedatives, is that what they're called? That drug that puts you to sleep and like you try to stay up but you can't, that's how strong it was. Like, And then I passed out and I just woke up now, 19 hours after, it's like 7 a.m. now. I might still go back to bed. I don't know if I'm that awake.
Kyle. Kyle Harrington. You know what time it is? What? Guess. 1210. You've been sleeping for like 26 hours now. Hmm. Get up. Okay.